In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can translate a number problem in order to answer a question about an unknown value. As we translate, we are looking for key phrases that might give us a hint as to what type of mathematical equation we can set up. Let's take a look at this problem. 15 more than 3 times a number is the same as 10 less than 6 times the number. What is the number? As we look for key phrases, the first key phrase we see is more than. To get more of something, we need to add it. However, we must be careful that addition is built backwards. If we want 15 more than something, it means we're adding 15, whoops, 15, to some value. To find out what we're adding 15 to, we will keep reading. 3 times a number. We don't know the number, so we'll take 3 times the unknown number, n, or any variable you choose to use. The next key phrase, is, which goes with is the same as, is, mathematically, generally means we are equal to something. Let's keep reading to see what it's equal to. 10 less than. To get less than something, we need to be subtracting. We remember that subtraction is built backwards, so when we want 10 less than, we're subtracting 10 from something. To find out what we're subtracting 10 from, we keep reading. 6 times the number. 6 times that same number n. What is the number? We now have an equation that we have found by translating the important key phrases, which we can easily solve. Balancing through the equals, we know we first need to get the variable on one side of this equation. The 3n is smaller, so let's get rid of the positive 3n's with 3 negative n's on both sides. This gives us 15 equals 3n minus 10. It is now a two-step equation as we move the numbers away from the n by adding first 10 to get rid of the 10 negatives, giving us 25 equals 3n, and finally dividing both sides by 3 to give us n, our variable, our unknown number, to be 25 thirds. We now know that 15 more than 3 times 25 thirds is the same as 10 less than 6 times 25 thirds.